welcome back. Today we are on day 10 and I am really excited to be chatting all about activating your voice and finding ways to, you know, really shift if you're someone who struggles with speaking up for yourself or feeling like nobody ever listens to you or no one ever respects you and your voice, then this video is gonna be really helpful to help uh, share some tools with you around how to reconnect to your voice to find that confidence and start speaking up for yourself. So welcome, I can see uh, Anya's here. As you guys are popping on, say hi. And uh, if you catch the replay, as always, please comment replay down below and then I can connect with you. Uh, share any questions or anything that comes up as I go. So diving in. Uh, this is something that has been a huge part of my journey as for most of my life, I really felt like nobody cared what I had to say and I felt like I really struggled to speak up for myself and to you know, voice my needs or my concerns or set boundaries or just ultimately communicate really. And so one of the biggest things that that caused then was for me to, you know, start to question and doubt the value that I had to give, you know, and constantly feel smaller and smaller. And so there's nothing worse than, you know, feeling like you have something to say or some input. Hey, welcome, welcome. Uh, feeling like you have input or you have value to give and yet it's either not being received when you do share it or you're in a space where like it's not even possible to kind of voice it because they're not open to it or not giving you that space or you just personally don't feel confident enough to share it and so you end up keeping it to yourself and I know I've struggled with all three <laughs> of those things in the past so one of the, the biggest things, oops, one of the biggest things here for, oh, <laughs> reminders, okay. One of the biggest things here for activating your voice, and I'm gonna share a little tool. It might sound very silly, but it's gonna be really helpful for you. So I encourage you to try that out. And so this will be day 10, task one, which is to practice saying no or practice speaking up and we're gonna look for little like micro wins here little baby steps because it's in the baby steps that you create the lasting change that's going to sustain you and continue and kind of propel you forward right we all have to start somewhere so i never spoke up for myself i never said no because i was afraid that you know, I would be letting people down or that they wouldn't like me. And so because of that, I really struggled with my boundaries. And that's why I talked about, you know, the people pleasing on a previous day of this challenge and how to shift out of that. Because uh, there's not like that's just such a hard place to be in where you're struggling to, to speak up for what you need. And then you end up feeling taken advantage of or disheartened or just kind of down and stuck and and then maybe end up in some bad situations because of it and you didn't speak up for what you knew was right and I know for me then I ended up feeling even worse and I felt even uh, some guilt or shame or resentment towards myself I felt unsafe because it was like I can't protect myself you know I didn't speak up when I really needed to and now I ended up here and and I, I, and I held that against myself for a long time. So with task one, what we're looking at here is the little micro wins, the baby steps forward. And so if you feel like you struggle to speak up for yourself, you struggle to say no or to set boundaries, what I'm gonna invite you to do is to uh, stand in front of a mirror at some point today and practice just saying no or just saying, sorry, I can't do that, or just saying, um, no, I'm sorry, that's not gonna work for me, you know? And you can <laughs> choose some different variations, but the goal is the same. It's to just literally practice speaking that. One of the things I found when I was really struggling with activating my voice or speaking up for myself was like, I felt very much like Ariel from The Little Mermaid when her voice is taken, where it's like, 
like, and it just freezes and it just gets stuck there. And so one of the ways to actually help release that, let me know in the comments if you can relate, if you've ever felt that way before, where you want so badly to say something, but it literally feels trapped. It's like stuck there and you can't get it out. And then later on you're like, oh, like I wish I had just said that, or I wish I could have, you know, spoken up at that time. I was there, I lived in that place for a very long time. So it felt so trapped. And so because I then also continued to suppress my voice and I continued to just keep it in, you know, smile, be polite, make sure they're happy or, you know, just try to dust it off and ignore it, even though I needed to speak up, um, I was continuing to teach myself how to stay quiet. And so I literally needed to train and teach myself to speak up, right? And you think of just like when we're little kids and we're learning how to speak for the first time, we did, we had to practice it. We had to start somewhere in order to get to where we are today with like fully formed sentences and everything. So standing in front of a mirror and just practicing saying some of these things is going to help kind of reinforce the patterns in your brain that remind you, oh yeah, like, hey, wait, I do have a voice and hey, that does uh, sound really good. Or you start to feel a little bit more confident even because you're practicing it in a very safe space. Another thing you can use or another thing that would come in handy here is to look to someone who is a safe person for you or a support system, someone you trust, and just be 100% honest with them of like, hey, you know, I'm really working on reactivating my voice or I'm really wanting to speak up for myself more because I feel like I, you know, that's actually something I'm kind of insecure about or I struggle with and I want to work on. So like, is that cool? Like that I just share that with you or is it cool that, you know, I kind of check in a little bit more or like practice it with you. And I know that that might sound a little bit cheesy or might sound very simple, but it really helps because the more you start to practice it, the better you'll feel. Another alternative to that would be like using voice notes and just speaking to yourself in the voice note. The more you get to hear yourself talking, the more you're like, oh yeah, you get into this stream of consciousness, this energy finally starts moving from your blocked throat, it finally starts to go somewhere. And then you're like, wait, okay, I can do this. And it starts to feel more normal, more comfortable. And so then the next time you're in a situation, uh, where you do want to speak up, you've kind of practiced, <laughs> like you've kind of built up a little bit of momentum. So now you're like, oh yeah, okay. Like I feel confident enough that I will say what I want to say. And then whether or not they receive it, whether or not they agree, that's okay. But like, wow, this is a great first step now where I'm actually putting it out there into the world. And with that, like for me, that was honestly with like YouTube or creating videos and Instagram stories when I first started, like I felt so blocked around communicating and sharing or speaking up and sharing my needs or sharing things on there. But it was this beautiful place to practice where all of a sudden it's like, oh wait, like I'm giving myself this safe environment to activate my voice, to practice speaking up, okay? So if you are someone who really, really struggles to just speak, to just put yourself out there and voice yourself, then practicing it is honestly going to help you and practicing it in that safe space so that then when you are in like a public arena or like a get together, you actually feel better to do it at that time as well, okay? And so it's about breaking the patterns. You may notice a theme with like all of these videos I've done in this challenge. If you haven't watched the previous ones, I highly recommend searching, checking those back out, especially the ones that connect to exactly what you're feeling or going through right now. But the common theme with all of this is like shifting the negative pattern or the limiting pattern and connecting to the version of you, that empowered version of you, or the version of you you want to become. So for me, it also came from practicing and visualizing and seeing, you know, I don't wanna be this small Kara anymore. 
I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of this pattern of not speaking up for myself or continuously attracting people who really don't care what I have to say anyway. I'm exhausted by it. So it's no fun, you know, it's not, it's not enjoyable anymore. I don't want to stay here. So I get to break the pattern and I connect to who is it that I want to be and what would that version of me look like who is speaking up and then how do I get there? How do I bridge that gap? And so bridging that gap comes from the different practices. It comes from the mindset work, the uncovering and releasing the insecurities or the doubts or the the traumas, the reasons that you're feeling stuck from speaking in the first place. Because I'm not taking away from the validity of why you don't feel safe to speak up or why you don't feel heard. Because that's totally valid and you're feeling that way for a reason. And most likely it's it's a buildup of experiences or traumas or painful moments where you did feel shut down. And every one of those moments made you kind of collapse and become smaller and smaller. So there's a reason you feel that way. And it's important to honor that for sure. Really important to honor that, to understand that, to be compassionate for why you're, you're feeling that way, right? And then connecting to, okay, so if those things weren't affecting me and if this wasn't something weighing down on me, how would I show up? How would I feel, right? How would I move forward? what would that version of me look like and think like who was confidently speaking up for herself and then how do i just take a step each day to get there and i promise as you start doing some of those things it will happen faster and faster and you'll be like wow okay this actually was easier than i thought and all of a sudden you'll have activated your voice and you'll feel more confident in it and you'll forget what it was like to not feel confident in it and that's the beauty of that repetition. That's the beauty of the consistency because you're training your brain with every time you voice something, every time you speak up, you're training your brain in a new way of like, oh yeah, it's safe for me to do this. And like, it's okay. And like, this is who I am, right? And that, that pays off as well, right? Over time. And so task two, task two before I wrap this up is to, Think of a few times where you did voice something and you did feel heard or respected or received. Even if they didn't agree with you, you felt like, oh, that's okay, but it was safe and I was able to share and, you know, they respected it, they honored it. And so using that as a reminder, every time the doubt creeps in or that fear or insecurity or like, oh, it's not safe to speak up, use that as a reminder of like, hey, yeah, but... Remember that time where you did and it actually went really well. So maybe this time could be the same, right? And you get to shift. That's all part of the process. Because then if you shift and use that as your reminder, you are going to actually feel more confident to speak up right now. So seeing that there were successful moments, even if it's just like one or two, but seeing that there were successful moments where you did speak up and you were received so that you can use that and again, continue to reinstall and reaffirm to your mind that like, yeah, it's safe for me to do this. Because as long as you continue focusing on the negative stories, it's gonna keep pulling you into that negative timeline and into that negative identity, into that small self who continues to not feel confident in their voice. As you continue to focus on the positives and the times where you did it, you felt empowered or you felt heard, then you're like, hey, yeah, that actually wasn't that big of a deal. So this fear or doubt or insecurity, I can actually make it a little bit quieter and I can speak up once again because I was okay last time, so I'll be okay this time too. And that allows you to continue to translate and shift into that version of you that you really wanna be, the version of you who's like speaking up confidently and being seen, being heard, and um, knowing that they have value to give. So if you're currently doubting your value or doubting your voice, please let that go. <laughs> please remember that you are so important and what you have to share and bring to the world is so, so important. Um, so please, yeah, please don't keep yourself small or keep holding yourself back anymore, okay? So those are your tasks for today. 
I really hope this was helpful and I will see you on tomorrow's video for day 11. I can't believe we're like, we're almost halfway. Not really. We're a third. <laughs> we're exactly a third of the way. So um, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Have a beautiful day.